Do you remember last summer when we were hit with foundation after foundation after foundation? It's like pow, 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 pow. And I had such a great time trying out foundations and I ended up buying uh, one, two, three, four foundations, which seems excessive, but in my defense, I hadn't bought a foundation in about a year, maybe even longer. Well, at Sephora. Oops. So a couple of months ago, I saw something for this new Guerlain, and really what interested me was the bottle, which I thought was so interesting. It's two little balls, so it's a round bottle, and then the little cap is round, but it's um, off-center, and, you know, packaging matters, or packaging attracts. Last night I went to Sephora, the bigger Sephora, because I wanted to get a sample of something, because the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing I took back, because the color was just a little bit off, a little bit dull, and I just felt like I needed to check out a couple more colors. While I was there though, I was wandering around and I saw the Guerlain and I thought, aha, I hadn't researched like I usually do. I didn't know what color I would be. I didn't know what the claims were. I just got some samples and we're here today to take a look at it. Let me tell you a little bit about this foundation. Guerlain Le Sentiel Natural 16 Hour Wear. So long wearing, which isn't a thing for me. I mean, I like a solid eight, but I don't have skin where foundation just kind of disappears. So I'm not going to be testing it for long wear. They say it's long wearing, buildable coverage, natural glow finish, and 97% naturally derived ingredients. I think that might be kind of a new thing for them. I think the French brands don't really do that so much. This is the first foundation I can recall that when it says what skin type, it doesn't say every skin type. Now when someone says every skin type, normal, combo, oily, dry, I'm like, okay, well, you're not telling the truth. Something that's good for oily is completely different than something that's good for dry. However, this brand does not say that. It says normal, combo, and oily. I fall more to normal to dry with a side of dehydration. It also says it hydrates and balances the skin and improves the complexion over time. And I think, well, if it's hydrating, you know, maybe I should give it a try. So I have. I'm wearing it now. You want to see the application and some swatches. Keep on watching. I'm the Hooded Lid and welcome to my channel. I got three colors of this. I got 3N, which is the first one I tried on, and in the store at night, after 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it looked like it was turning a little orange on me. I got 3C and put that on the other side of my face, and it seemed okay, but it also seemed to get a little dark on me, and then I got 2C. What's weird is, in my experience, foundations that oxidize are mattes. And this is not claiming to be a matte. It's saying it's natural skin finish. So I'm just going to do a couple of swatches. This right here is 2C. In the middle is 3N. And on the outside right here is 3C. Now C does stand for cool with this line. And yet to me, these don't look cool so much as they look kind of peachy. I am particularly red today because I did a laser yesterday. I mean, a home laser, nothing fancy. But I use my Tria. This is the 2C. And, and this is the 3N. Hmm. The 3N looks a teeny bit grayish to me. Now, it is cloudy today. No rain, so the light will remain the same, but not great, great light to be looking at a foundation match. But I kind of feel like the 2C is a better color for me. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So what is it? when I was at Sephora, I guess I had a mental note that this was out, but it wasn't, you know, at the forefront of my mind. The bottle interested me, <laughs> honestly. I've never tried a Guerlain. Ah, I may have tried a Guerlain foundation before, 
but I do kind of remember a few people reviewing it, and I thought, well, maybe I'll take a look at it and take advantage of this, you know, spend $75, get $25 off sale. Okay, so that's the application on my face, and that is this color right here. Uh, this one is definitely more neutral. It does look like it would be better, but on my face it seemed a little bit gray. I could have done half and half. I've done that before. This is probably not the best way to see if something works for you, but I just don't feel like looking crazy today. <laughs> just today. So there it is applied. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I will come back. I'm back. It's about four and a half hours later. I put on my makeup and this is what we have going on here. So the first thing I wanted to tell you is I don't feel this needs to be powdered. I actually was powdering my eyelids and under eyes and just by habit I powdered my cheeks because I don't like my cheeks to be shiny. And as I'm looking in the mirror I thought, oh, that's not terribly shiny. I did anyway since I was there, but I don't think that it needs to be powdered. The finish that you get initially is a skin-like finish, but keep in mind that I start from a very, very shiny point of view because I'm wearing lots of moisturizers and lots of sunscreens. I think if you're oily, this might really work for you. Um, but if you are dry, you might find it to be a little bit uncomfortable. I find it to be just a little bit uncomfortable. That could be because of the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, but that's quite low at the list. There is titanium dioxide nanoparticles in the top six or seven, and some people might have a problem with that. I personally don't have a problem with nano, I just have a problem with the mineral sunscreens. Is it a long wear 16 hours? That I can't say, and I'm not going to test it for that because I just don't have a problem with foundation stain on my skin. I'm very lucky in that way, so I wouldn't be a good judge for that. Does it sink into fine lines and creases? Yes. Not fine lines though. So I have a deep crease right here. I like to call it my sleeping crease. I have a couple of deeper lines here and the deeper 11s. And it did sink in there, but I saw it using my 13X and my readers. I think to the normal person with normal eyesight, I'm guessing, because I don't know what it is anymore, um, you probably wouldn't be able to see that. The color range is so weird. I really, really think you need to see this in store and get some samples. I have three colors here. The middle is 3N, the top is 3C, and the bottom is 2C. The difference between the 3C and the 2C is not really the tone, the, the depth of the color so much as it's the undertone. The undertone of the 3C is peach. So this is not something I think you should go online and buy. You need to check it out and it does oxidize. So you need to put it on your face and give it 15 or 20 minutes and see what happens. It's weird that it oxidizes because in my experience it's only matte foundations that oxidize um, and this is not a matte. It does leave a skin like finish but it's not particularly tacky so you don't feel that you need to powder it and that's a good thing for me. Why add more stuff to your face? So am I going to buy it? I think for me you need to do one of two things. I need to look in the mirror and go, wow, my skin looks great. I have to have this. And that does happen to me. Or, wow, I think I like this. I need to try it. I'm looking forward to trying it again. That's a good thing. But when I look in the mirror and I think, it looks good, it doesn't look bad, but is it different than anything else I have? I don't think so. I think it makes my skin look very similar to the way the Etherealist does and it doesn't have more coverage than the Etherealist does. So there's no reason to have two in the same category. And for me, I do find this a little bit drying. If this hit a category that I don't feel I have, like the Shiseido Self-Refreshing really felt very close to a full coverage to me, but I returned it because the undertone just seemed a little wrong. It made me look a little gray. I was hoping to put something in that category where it's a full coverage, but it looks nice on the skin, it doesn't look cakey, this isn't a full coverage. So it's not really filling a spot that I have empty. So that's going to wrap it up on this one. I hope it was helpful to you and I hope you come back again. In the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.